television sitcom Day by Day, Doug Sheehan is here. My next guest must be doing something right. He's been on one television show or another for like the last 10 years, beginning as Joe Kelly on General Hospital, moving to Knott's Landing for a couple years, and then on to the sitcom Day by Day. Let's take a look. Oh, no. I have to go back to Gumdrop Mountain. <laughs> You haven't lost yet. That's because I'm good. And you're good too, Daddy. Thank you, sweetie. How's it going? Well, I'm trying to teach Emily to be a good loser. She keeps winning. Well, why don't you show Emily how to be a good loser? I think she cheats. Are you guys still using the table? Kate and I are going to have afternoon tea. You want to join us? Uh, no, thanks. Uh, Emily and I are going to go find a game that I can win. <laughs> Please welcome Doug Sheehan. You all did an episode of your show? Absolutely. George came and played my old fraternity brother right. on, uh, on uh, Day by Day. Uh -huh. And we started working out together at the Cheers Gym. Yep. Look at this, buddy. I know, I know. Ah. <laughs> you told me you were going to do it. I did it, too. Yes! <laughs> What's it like working with a small child like that? Well, I think W.C. Fields was basically right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he said you work with small children and animals, uh, you're throwing your career away, and that's, uh, you know, f after 10 years, as you were kind enough to mention, I fought my way firmly to the middle, you know, <laughs> sort of <laughs> relative obscurity, and I'm <laughs> putting the spikes in my coffin with the kids and the animals. I mean, you, you're working with kids that are six years old, uh, one little anecdote about uh, when Christmas time was coming around we had uh, we have a wonderful costumer on our show his name is Bob Blackman he was going up to all the little kids and go guess who's coming guess who's coming and the kids go Santa Claus is coming Santa Claus is coming so we have one little girl who's sort of a star on the show and uh, Bob walked up and said who's coming who is it who's coming and she went entertainment tonight <laughs> Kids. Yeah, and the animals. I mean, we had one scene last year's episode where Linda Kelsey, who plays my wife on the show, mm -hmm. was supposed to be uh, uh, talking about how lonely she was for her, her marriage to be a little bit more romantic. And she said, even those two rabbits are picking out furniture. Well, we have the outtakes back at Day by Day of the two rabbits, and they were doing way beyond picking out the furniture. Yeah. But do you know what I mean? Oh, yes. And we had to do the evening show, and they put a piece of plexiglass between the two rabbits on the cage. And it was clear plexiglass when we started, and it was scratched white, opaque by the end of the year. Really? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> You've done daytime. Uh, you've done a nighttime soap opera. Now you're doing a sitcom. Hollywood has a strange attitude towards uh, classes of, of the different mediums. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, man, do I? I'm living what you're talking about. Every time, you know, Hollywood, is, as we all know, uh, is not run by, by the producers. It's run by casting directors. Yeah. <laughs> casting directors never watch what you're on. Like, Arsenio, Arsenio, Arsenio Hall, Arsenio Hall. Well, Is that the guy me? from Police Academy? You're on television? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I believe you do all those noises on yeah. Police Academy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you got to forgive me, I wash my hair when you're on, whatever. You know, they don't watch what you do. Yeah. So I've spent my whole time sort of breaking down the walls with the, the, the daytime and the nighttime and, and now half-hour comedy. They don't know if I can do full-hour comedy yet, so that'll be the next one I have to do. I have to break through. Yeah. Soaps have a tremendous impact on What is it about soaps? I remember when you did GH. And it, it's... I, I, you do know, if you know it was called GH, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was on during the Camelot era when Luke and Laura were running around saving the world madly, and I was sort of the nice guy that stood on the sidelines and said, Go, Luke, go! And, you know, I... I <laughs> 
you know, sort of stood there with my finger in my nose and went, boy, that Luke is really great, isn't he? <laughs> and then, and then on, on not planning, we went down to the cul-de-sac in Valine to be over here worried about this disaster and that disaster. And, and sort of like Brewster Place, women of Brewster Place, but all white people on a cul-de-sac. <laughs> You know, uh, we'd be worried about this, that, and I'd be the one over in the corner going, Go, Valene, go, baby! <laughs> you know, and, and now I'm on Day by Day, and we're working with six-year-old kids, and I'm going, Go, Thora, go! <laughs> so, you know, I'm finding a niche there. Definitely, definitely. You um, talked about working out with George. Um, you also played polo? Yeah. See, that, that's... I pretended to be a polo player and coming to America. I know. You but screwed you up bad, too. <laughs> yeah, I was, I had to no, no, no. The only thing you did, you guys got up from the table and they looked great, didn't they? Did you guys see coming to America? <laughs> I mean, you did, man. You looked so good. And you walked in and I went, all right. You guys just look so beautiful. You came in and you sat down, oh, mother, father, how are you? And you got up and you walked away and you were like number five and number six. There's no number five or six in polo. There's only one, two, three, or four. That's wow. it in the entire... Well, you know, we, where we're from, we had never seen horses. I mean, Ghetto of Cleveland and Eddie's from Jersey. You know, horses and polo, you know. We did it because uh, John Landon says you all would look great in those tight pants, so we put them on, you know? <laughs> but, uh, but <laughs> that's the only reason we did it. But you actually play polo. I am the captain of the, um, the uh, Cadillac Celebrity Polo Team, and what we do is we fly when we're not filming the show, we fly around the country using polo, which actually does have an old history in America. It was uh, brought to America the same year that Custer was massacred. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's been a part of our sort of heritage. But we play for charity, and we use our celebrity and the sport of polo to bring people uh, to maybe see the sport that have never seen it before. And we raise money for various charities. And in the last three years, we've raised uh, over $2 million for various charities around the country. That's good. That's good. Um, now, here's something. In researching uh, your life, I found out I didn't know you were the Aramis man years ago. <laughs> I mean, do you like Aramis? I mean, do I like Aramis? Did you wear it? Let me see. I used the umbrella. I used the shaver. I used all the stuff. <laughs> yeah, some of it I did use. Not, not, not necessarily the Aramis flavored Aramis, but yeah. And it was a great gig. Oh, I can imagine. It was a great, great gig. You know what I want to do? Where's that stuff I had? Come here, minute, guy. Come here. <laughs> Let's do an Aramis smell test. <laughs> hey, guy, you just come, come right over here, because you know what's what. Now, we got this set up. There you go, Sandy. A, B, and C. Let me have your wrist for a minute. <laughs> but, hey. Hey. Smell that. I just sold it, man. I didn't drink it or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see if you remember your product. Remember my product. <laughs> Let's put it over here. <laughs> Smell mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> Is it? That's it. He said, see. Is that it? That's it. From day by day, we'll be right back. Yes. Michael Wolf. Yes. I'd like to thank all my guests. Uh, Doug, thank you for being here. Thank you very much for having me. And <laughs> I also want to thank the baby. Well, he, he was happy to be here. <laughs> thank George. the baby with uh, residuals, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, send a check, George says. George and Bernadette. Also, Terry Lynn Carrington, who's here every night. Love you. All the wonderful people she brought with her. And the Delphonics, who brought my monologue to life. Uh, tomorrow night, Smokey Robinson, comedian Denny Johnston, and actress from Dallas, Beth Toussaint. I'll see you then. God bless.